Another beautiful day inside of Jackie Land. The crops are growing, the berries are being picked, the animals are being hunted, and in today's episode, we go for a massive expansion. I am really looking forward to basically just building a ton of houses. Our approval is really high because we're kind of in that midpoint in the game where we haven't got any tier three, so the approval isn't taking a massive hit from that, and we just have a bunch of tier twos and tier ones, and we're basically meeting all their needs. And and this basically means that we can build a ton of houses and they'll fill up pretty fast. People will want to come and live here. And that's basically what I want to do. I think I want to get to about 50 population until we go up to tier threes, just so that I can have a lot more people. I am also looking to clear out a few more bandits to hopefully get enough money to make a brand new city because we need a farming region bad. The farming here is, of course, just atrocious. And until we sort that out, uh, yeah, food is still always going to be a bit of an issue. We are, though, also looking to go up to a a large or a small town even because that will give us some extra good trade perks and I'm going to abuse these whilst these are still in the game. The actual developer has said that he has nerfed trade in the early access release build. You guys are going to be able to get to play on Friday or next Friday. Um, but yeah, we're going we're to use it until now because it is really strong. I don't think it's like a huge nerf. It's not a nerf to like these trade bonuses. Just there's going to be like kind of a ebb and flow of like if you over flood the market, it's going to decrease. And I actually uh, noticed that. Oh God, wait, what? Oh, mercenaries, cool. For a second, I was like, a bit scared there seeing them soldiers in the distance, but they're just mercenaries, I believe. Yeah, they're just mercenaries. Not going to come and attack me. We're good. Um, but yeah, so I also noticed as well, Republic of Play, Dar what Darren plays, uh, also was talking to the developer on Twitter, and he was saying a lot of the stuff with like trade will kind of counterbalance out as the game gets more developed. And it really does make sense. You know, crime, squalor, disease, all that stuff, banditry, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff is all planned for the game. So again, even if stuff might seem a little bit broken right now, I think it's a very good indication that, you know, there will be more balancing features to kind of keep the player in check uh, that we met necessarily we're not getting quite yet in early access we are as always struggling for ale yeah that's going to be our biggest uh, our biggest hit right there is definitely going to be the ale uh, but we are continuing to sell as much iron as we can muster and again just kind of harvesting it uh, using iron slabs and making weaponry is going to be our main thing i believe our blacksmith right now if i can find it yeah right here is still making spears and we are selling said spears uh, we're making bows of course to sell them to give us as much money as possible because uh, yeah, we're going to need cash for sure. Uh, we have actually stopped the production of shields. I guess we do have 45 of them. We don't have a trade route. So, yeah, it doesn't really make a ton of sense to, uh, to do that. We are still making bows, though. Um, yeah, to, again, sell that. Our planks aren't looking great, but, but, you know, it is fine. Do we have someone in on the smithy yet? Because we could also... We do, but we don't have anyone making them. Uh, are tools a major... Yeah, are tools a major good, or can we just sell them normally without a trade route? I guess they'd be under commodities. And yeah, they are a major trade. They sell for six... This could be something that we could also sell, like having some people in the smithy could be a great idea. But let's set up some houses now. Uh, I think we just want some like basic housing, not necessarily with gardens. So uh, let's see if we can kind of set that up a bit. I say that, but all of these places will have gardens if we set it up like that. Could we do, could we do something like this? Is that going to be, that's not big enough. Because I would love to get, uh, can we not just like get it across here? No, okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. They can have gardens. These guys will probably just have chicken coops and stuff because one of the big downsides, um, actually... Um, yeah, one of the big downsides of having like a lot of gardens and then making these guys into blacksmiths when you push them to tier three. Um, so for example, let's go ahead and take this blacksmith right here. When I push this building to tier three, it's going to allow another resident to actually go ahead and live in that house, which is great, right? Because then you have more people working in your blacksmith, but then it does just take away a family from being able to be assigned to a job. So you need to be careful as you kind of get into that tier three zone of yes, you're going to be expanding the houses and that's great. But when you do expand stuff like the blacksmith, the joiner, the fletcher, etc., you're going to be basically assigning a family, another family, to that job. And I think it does automatically kind of people want to be tier three, so they migrate to that from other houses as well. So you just be kind of a little bit careful uh, when you do upgrade to that. We are very close as well. We just entered summer. Okay. So these fields will be growing. And I have noticed that there is a visual glitch right now. Um,. Yeah, there is a visual glitch with these right now, but they don't actually look like they're growing. But I did, I did kind of find out that if you just destroy the fields, uh, then remake them, it does sort it out. I think it's maybe something just to do with early access and like the builds that we're playing on being updated and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and create these fields once more. Uh, again, I think another big little field like this 
is going to be more than enough for us. So yeah, we'll set this up like that. And again, we'll set it to fellow. Um, yeah, we'll set it to fellow for now. We obviously when we go to doing that, we're going to switch these fields over. And this should be plenty of grain to sustain us. Uh, I wonder if I kind of go uh, and avoid that little bit of like poor sanitation. Can I like avoid? We can't build that there. Why not? Yeah, I guess it was maybe a bit too big. Um, but let's avoid that kind of defertilization and see if that did increase it. I kind of feel like it it decreased it, honestly. I kind of feel like it did decrease it. Uh, let's go and uh, destroy this and try and make a bit of a better one. Yeah, I have no idea what the issue is there. It seems like whenever I go past this line, it's just like, nope, not happening. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. And again, we will fellow uh, for the season, try and boost a little bit of fertility up in the others. Um, and yeah, you know, again, flax and barley is going to be such a pain. We're going to have to set up that next region for sure as quickly as possible. I'm also hoping we'll be able to get this up. Is there any extra families I could maybe assign to that? We have someone in the wool weaver for now. Um, wool's going to be fine though. So we're going to be able to meet a lot of our, our targets because we are buying sheep. And keep in mind as well, we have also taken the sheep breeding uh, stat, which I guess isn't awful for this region because we're not going to be able to really do much when it does come to, uh, when it does come to like fertilization and farming though we could maybe take the fence up that could be really interesting actually i've never seen anyone take this and i haven't taken it myself it would be delaying our trade stuff which would again get the village going okay let me know down below in the comments what do you think we should do just go with the basic trade stuff you know is what it is we just make loads of money we can import our problems or do we try something a little bit different and take the fence up for our next upgrade that will give us the ability to make these fields a little bit more fertile let the animals kind of pasture in them which could be really interesting. Or we could go towards rye cultivation. That could help out as well. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. What do we do? Do we trade or do we go with fertilization and set up the fence up and try and uh, make these fields in this area a little bit more accessible? Oh, we are actually also importing flax and barley. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I forgot that I did that. And we also want to go up to another sheep. But until we make some more good selling, it's going to be a little while. So something as well, I did actually find out if, if you have more... I mean, it makes complete sense. But still, if the more people you have in your trade post, I think the more frequently people come. So as soon as we do get some more houses right here and some more uh, residents, we're going to be sticking some more people in the trade. Because, yeah, getting some more regional wealth is going to be very nice. And selling more bows is important. Oh, nice as well. We actually have a bandit camp down here. Perfect. So let's go clear that out, uh, I think, right away. Because with that, we're going to be getting very close. It depends how lucky we are with the money. But if we go and grab it, that will almost give us enough. And maybe we tax a little. Again, it's going to tank opinion. But maybe we, if we do that, then they'll be really happy with us. Also, we can maybe just let these mercenaries clear it out for us. And then we go take the spoils of war. Because um, it does have people here, right? Yeah, it has 16 of them. Yeah, maybe that's what we do. Because that way, then I don't have to spend my, my people. Again, I'm sure you guys want to see more of a combat. But... I don't know. I think I think we have to, yeah. Again, just to kind of keep our our people happy. I think we kind of just let them do it do it for us. Um, that's the only bandit camp, right? Yeah, it is the only bandit camp right now. So yeah, I think we let the mercenaries clear it out, and then we go in afterwards with our retinue, and that way we don't have to then bring any soldiers to go deal with it. Oh yeah, another thing I just turned on as well is the day and night cycle. Uh, I didn't realize it was even in the game until someone in my stream mentioned it. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll turn it on. Let me know again what you think of it because YouTube doesn't always do a great job with like nighttime battles and nighttime stuff. It, it, it kind of compresses it pretty heavily. But it'd be interesting to see if you guys like the look of this and I'd be more than happy to uh, do it. Nice. Already, we're starting to make a decent amount of money now selling more stuff now that we have two people on this. More bows. And we're also selling iron ore as well. I think anything we can do just to sell to keep the other stuff up is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, we're selling iron ore as we produce it, which again, isn't the worst thing in the world. The housing is coming along nicely now. Um, yeah, this is going to be really good. And I might actually end up destroying some more. Like, we could maybe destroy these rows and get another couple houses in here.
Yeah, there you go. Boom. It does seem like the AI does charge towards them. Okay, good. So, it, yeah, it's nice to know that the AI actually does uh, get himself stuck in. They'll clear out of these bandits very efficiently. And then we'll reap the rewards, baby. Uh, one thing I did realize you could do as well is if you... Oh, well, how far away are we? Where are we? Like, you can actually jump in and watch for battles, but I'm not sure if it's going to spawn me there. Yeah, I don't know where it spawned me. I think in the forest. Um, but, yeah, some, you can actually zoom in uh, and, and take, a, like, take a look at the battles. But, yeah, we are... Somewhere on a road. I don't know where. Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll clear that up quite quickly. Yeah, we're up like up here somewhere, I think, maybe. Because there's no roads down here in the south. So cool. Let's rally together our uh, our own uh, soldiers. And then we'll get ready to go clear out that panic camp and take the loot. Thank you, mercenaries. Oh, we actually do already have some taxation as well on the uh, on the, the land. Nice. Cool. That's good. I didn't realize we were, but we are getting a little bit of money. And it is obviously hurting our approval rating, which is kind of the opposite of what we wanted. But it's fine. You know, it, it's fine. Uh, I think... Yeah, we're going to chill and continue on. And it seems like we are meeting most needs again. The biggest problem is going to be the barley. Uh, for sure. Uh, and we are, we are, yeah, we're just taking in the barley and that's it. That's going to be so expensive uh, to keep up. Um, but I don't really see another way we can do it with this region. Like, realistically, maybe I could have kind of sorted it out a little bit more. Like, a little bit easier some other way. But I think, yeah, it is what it is at this point. I might also force harvest a little bit earlier just to kind of help to, so we don't have need to put as many families on this. Yeah, uh, and I think we are, yeah, we're fellowing this season, and we're fellowing, yeah, fellow this season afterwards as well. Uh, yeah, let's not risk it. The vegetables are coming in thick and fast, so I think very soon, and that's going to be a big help. We have plenty of eggs. Uh, we'll then have bread, and that should sort out all of our, our happiness issues. Is that army moved away? Yeah, cool. So get over there now, go clear out that, and that will give us enough, I think, because you normally get about 100. Yeah, all we need is 100 uh, gold from that. And then we can send our, our next level over. So what we should do is we should start claiming this region. And this is the region I want, right? It's got berries. It's got good farmland. So let's do it. Let's start claiming this region in the south. And also, as well, it's actually much easier to defend. Because if I went... I mean, to be fair, it is two away. But you also need to like have enough people over there to defend. So cool. Claiming our second settlement. Um, that's going to be really, really nice for us, I think. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which as well, another thing I really wanted to do was set up a, a brand new uh, a brand new farm as well. Because this will basically... Can I not get it in here? I wanted to get it like here. Maybe I need to destroy that road. I wanted to basically have two farms so that we can have two oxes uh, to go and do both these fields. That way we just get it done a little bit quicker. Um, and we can move on to other stuff. Get the field sown, etc. So let's go and delete this road. Uh, yeah, delete that road. And I think I'm going to be able to get it in here. Yeah, boom. Uh, so let's just set it up like so. Nice, cool. So we'll get that built as quickly as possible. And then, can we fit, then we can fit a road through here as well to connect that up. Perfect. Uh, and then even go... Uh, like uh, so, so that they have like a little an extension right there. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we can't connect it in there, but we could like maybe connect it like around like that. Cool, boom, nice. I think that's a nice little look. And we can maybe have some bigger houses here uh, if we wanted to. Could maybe stick some more in here, or we could just make more of this into fields. Like I think I might expand the fields out this way um, as well. Again, we could just do this to make it look cool. Not that the fertility is good, but um, yeah, we could do something like that. Again, just have the fields following. Not awful for flax, though. We could actually make this into a flax field if we wanted to. <laughs> we could, literally. Um, nice. Uh, and then let's stick this in a bit of a high priority so we can get that done uh, and, and ready for the harvest because... No, but it looks like it. I think we're going to harvest because we're already at 71. Like, we missed out on a little bit, but we can just harvest a little bit earlier. Yeah, let's set that up then uh, right away. So let's get two people there. Uh, let's set two families in there. And then let's set four hot forced harvest. That way we still have two people free. We could probably go a little bit lighter on the berries as well if we wanted to. I do want to make sure that we pick them all though before winter comes, but we should be okay right there. So let's go down another family right there uh, and then go maybe free on that. And then I'm going to go out and harvest this field. This is being fellowed and then going to barley afterwards as well. Yeah, so we have a lot to like do basically. And then we can assign an ox there uh, to help out plow the fields afterwards. Perfect. That's a really nice setup right there. Uh, we have a clay furnace. Our malt house is still going with any barley we import. Uh, we have free on the granary right now. I think we really need free on the granary. And we also have, like, a lot of houses that can also expand. Um, like, there's a lot of places without, like, like, can buck, like back gardens. I think I'm going to make some tailor workshops soon. Because right now, we are producing a decent amount of leather, I think. Yeah, we have, we have, a, we have a little bit of yarn. So we can start making cloaks. We could be, we're making dyes as well from the food. And we're about to have a bunch of bread as well. So, yeah, a lot of, like, good things are happening. Okay, let's see how much we get. So this belongs to me now. 300 perfect cool the army can come home now um we are actually a little bit off i think the next uh to have like the next bigger 
set of supplies it's a little bit more expensive i think it's like 400 gold to have like more supplies sent but the small one should be fine for our second village and i think that also does mean uh now that we can maybe turn off the taxation again just to help out with like more booming because if we had an extra seven thing we'd be getting higher population growth and that'd be obviously a perfect and i actually think it's actually a pretty good idea to maybe harvest a little bit in uh in summer because it's not gonna really rain in summer and the rain can like pretty heavily destroy your uh your crop yields as well like i've had like half my crop get destroyed by heavy rain before in, in my stream let's play so i'm kind of happy um but it's you know that we've got that set up the way it is boom region has been claimed nice we i'm like i'm literally just gonna set, set it up right away um so let's disband my militia Oh, sorry, my, my elites. And then, yeah, let's... Uh, so we have to come over here. We have to go ahead and get a set this camp down. And we need to figure out where we want to do it. I mean, I guess looking at fertility, fertility is good everywhere. Uh, water is good like here. So maybe this little section could be a good village. Uh, and then we kind of go into the, 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 the... Animals are a little bit far away. But I guess they're a little bit far away wherever we go. Um, and then the flax is good over to the right. And then barley is good there. So yeah, this has to be where our farms are then. Yeah, farms are here. So we could go a little bit into, into the forest like right away. Or we just go like here. Start expanding like this side. Yeah, let's have like the settler camp like down like here. I mean, yeah, here you go. So these aren't in early access right now, but it's going to be really cool when you start getting bonuses like farming village, forest village, mining village. That stuff's going to be really cool. And then also the more money you have, the more uh, and more like kind of supplies you can send with them. We're going to just be modest and obviously we can only pick a town right now. It would be a farming village, but yeah, a town is what it is. And then boom, we basically just start again. We get five families who have arrived. It doesn't take away anything from your previous uh, house though, but you are just here. So let's, I guess, set, set up our, our new region as best as we can. So of course, we're going to need a logging camp down immediately that's going to be our number one goal i want to kind of clear all of this area out uh we're then going to need a woodcutter's uh lounge as well um so we can kind of sit that off like off like here i think um yeah like there that's going to be cool um so that's going to start getting us wood again and then of course we're going to need a hunting lodge that, they're like the most important things because the reason why you get a hunting lodge over the berries even though the berries would be good because uh winter is coming so we want to make sure that we we clear that out as quickly as possible but the reason why uh the reason why you want hunting is because it gives you leather and then that allows you to meet the need of your people like right away uh, as you start getting clothes for them so yeah the hunting lodge is always the best thing to go uh, and that's a good setup then we obviously we need houses another pretty important thing is if you don't get houses in your campaign uh they actually don't the, the approval doesn't like plummet because you don't have a church obviously remember we're playing um we're playing challenging in this are we playing challenging this playthrough oh we're not yeah this is the medium difficulty because this is my first playthrough oh then we're laughing all the way to the bank there yeah we're gonna be able to boom that pretty nicely oh i do need a name though i do need a name for this region so put in the comments down something something funny something related to jackie land now this is obviously jackie land so you know fish hampton was a really cool one we had on the stream something along them lines make sure you guys give me a name funny as well right how i was saying that it never rains in winter so you don't have to worry about uh the your your supplies getting destroyed um and then boom there you go exposed stocks are getting oh it's over here they're getting destroyed okay uh let's have one person on the logging camp for now they're building up the wood cutting uh, and then that as well and then of course we're going to need some more stuff so yeah unfortunately the rains are really going to mess me up here uh but we'll be fine we'll be fine in that region we just need about building done uh, and i guess i might as well start sticking some stuff down uh, on top of that so let's maybe get so again farmland is going to be over here right just need to double check yeah farmland is basically all of this is farmland yeah, I mean, it's not even a bad idea to maybe set it up now just so we can kind of see it visually so I don't go ahead and ruin it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be flax. Like out here, I guess. Um, so something like... Something like that is going to be our flax field. Yeah, and then what's our fertility there? Yeah, really good fertility, Allah, man. Such a, such a contrast, right? And then we're going to have barley over here. It's going to be a pretty big field as well. Honestly, because like we're going to need to supply a whole other region with barley as well. Yeah, 53% is crazy good. Uh, nice. So at least that's just visually. Again, I'm going to clean them up a little bit, but just at least this way, kind of, I, I'm not going to be building over there and messing it up. So we can kind of like build a little bit, I guess, more over here now. Um, and kind of just clear these, these trees as well by just putting stuff down. So we do need a storehouse. Um, again, we can kind of get a storehouse like here, because eventually all of this stuff is going to be cleared anyway. So let's get a storehouse there. Uh, and then we can go like kind of build like a road off here as well to kind of meet in on on this and have one kind of coming down to the woodcutter's lodge perfect I and mean, then yeah as i said housing is probably going to be all the way over here oh my lord this is like the worst time to be starting a new settlement it's supposed to be summer man it's like literally july and look at it 
Look at it. You can barely see anything. One thing I will say, though, in the winter is how, just how awesome, like, the, the lights are. Hopefully, they add, like, more torches and stuff at nighttime because it would be really, really cool to have, like, you know, just a bunch of lights down here and you know, lots of torches moving around, maybe guards moving around with torches, patrolling during the, uh, the night and stuff. I think that'd be dope. Oh, we also do have a little bit of money left over, so I think we'll be able to expand the retinue a little bit just by one. But hey, that's another extra retinue. I think around about eight is when you can start clearing out bandit camps without having to lose anybody. So hopefully we can maybe just send this retinue. Um, uh, maybe 12 is like your limit, though. I don't know. Normally I go around about 12 is when I can just clearing out the bandit camps by yourself, but... I guess we'll be a little bit more cautious. Yeah, there's no more spawning at the moment as well. So we'll leave that for now. So one thing we're definitely lacking in the village is for sure a tailor, right? We don't have one. We have a cobbler for the shoes. But yeah, we can definitely do a tailor. We're getting enough wool now. And we should be spinning. Are we selling the yarn? I don't think so, right? We have someone in the wool weaver. Um, and I, I guess I must be if I don't have any stockpiled. Um, so let's have a quick look. No, I'm not. So I don't understand why we don't have any yarn. That's what the, the weaver should be doing, right? I mean, he has flax. So maybe he's a bit more focused on that. I don't think shoes take up yarn, right? Do we have a tailor? We can't, right? Brewery. I can't find a tailor anywhere, um, but we're going to make one. Uh, yeah, oh, we don't have planks for that. God damn it. Okay, how many bows do we have and how many shields? Okay, let's pause our, our Fletcher shop then for a bit. Uh, let them get up a little bit. And then, yeah, when we have enough planks, we will... Indeed, uh, yeah, make probably a tailor up and running. Oh, we must do, though, because we have Gamberson. So where the hell is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. So it's right here. So, we, yeah, we're making Gambersons. That's what I'm saying. I really hope they do add in uh, a way to see this because it is quite important. So let's switch over to making... And that's just taking linen as well. Yeah, let's make our way over to making uh, some some yarn. Obviously, the, the Gambersons are nice, right? Uh, we are making a few of them. We've got a couple right here. But I think getting the cloves is going to be a little bit more important. Just to stockpile them again for when we go up to tier 3. I'd like just to have a bunch raring to go. We actually have so much clay as well that I'm going to probably stop uh, getting it uh, for now. One thing we could do though. How much does clay tiles sell for? Uh, roof tiles sell for a lot. Wow. I mean, it's a very expensive trade route to get. Um, again, if we got the 25 one, it would be so cheap and we'd make so much money. So maybe we do that. But yeah, maybe doing that because we have infinite supply. We could, we could, yeah, that could be such a good money maker. Um, uh, that could be such a good money maker. I mean, it's just more reason to go down the, the trade logistics. It's just so strong. It really is. But I kind of want to go down the fertilization. But again, it doesn't really matter though, because once this is set up and has a few more families and stuff, like we're going to be laughing all the way to the bank and we're not going to really even care about it. Uh, either. Nice. The granary is now done. So let's get the supplies in. So we will stick the family on there. Take one off the storehouse for now. Just need to micromanage that a little bit. Uh, and then we need a tannera. Yeah, we need a tanner. Uh, and then we need a... Yeah, a tanner down, a saw pit, and then houses, I think. Uh, which means we're going to need someone still cutting wood down. Uh, do we have a lot of firewood in stockpile already? Uh, yeah, we've got a decent amount, honestly. Um, yeah, we've got no full con fuel consumption either. So we should probably do that. Uh, get a saw pit up and running so we can make that church and then really boom this town. So let's do that. Uh, we have our well down as well. Yeah, we do have a well down. Nice. Um, cool. Saw pit down as well. So we have the tanner. We have the saw pit. That should be enough to kind of start boosting uh, boosting happiness through the roof to start getting more families in. So we'll get these down. We'll start working on the planks whilst we then build the houses. So I guess we can set it up now. So yeah, high priority there. High priority there. And then we'll make our way over to houses. And we'll get some houses down. Keep in mind that, but you know, the, the number one kind of meta play, which I guess we are going to do because I want this uh, village to be successful and up and running as quickly as possible, is we're going to do ones with massive gardens. Uh, that is the, the way, unfortunately, uh, you have to kind of play. Um, but that's maybe a few too many uh, to begin with. Yeah, the big, bigger the gardens, the more vegetables that they can make. So that's what you want to do. Something like that will be good enough for now. And um, we'll spend our money making vegetables there because it's just really, really important to get that up and running. But yeah, these, these are going to be our more, most important things. Uh, and we'll keep on getting as much wood as possible. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to get these fields up. Probably next episode will be the main focus of getting these fields up. But as soon as they are, then yeah, we're going to start pumping like immediately. I just need obviously a good population there. Holy crap, that is, yeah, we, we should be fellowing that right away, right? Yeah, fellow that field immediately. Oh, realistically as well, now the grain is out, what we can do is delete this and rebuild it. Because by doing that, I know I wasted time there. Uh, we'll fix out the visual glitch as well. Um, so let's stick that down. Nice, and that, we'll do the same over here once that, uh, that's been harvested as well. Fuel is once again a problem. Okay, stick some more families on, on fuel then. 
Uh, we have plenty of timber, right? Where is our, our thing all the way over here? Yeah. And it might not be a bad idea to actually start building a bit of a, like a, a forester as well. Make sure we kind of keep that up and running. Uh, we're going to need some more houses soon as well. Um, so let's maybe just get some some more like out here. Maybe I wouldn't mind making like turning this into a bit of a housing district. We also have some space for just some cheap ones out here as well. I don't think I'm really in a desperate need for like a bunch of big houses. So I think we just do something like that, you know, have like a real dense area out here because I, I have a lot of gardens spare that I'm just not building on yet because again, I just don't really have the resources for it. And again, I want to make more of these and like tailors and armorers and stuff like that. So we'll leave that for now. But yeah, let's, let's build up some more houses out there. Why not? Our biggest problem, of course, though, is the food variety. The berries are going to run short soon. Um, so I think... Do we have enough dyes now? Man, it's always such a oh, such a battle, really, uh, to fight that. You're making goats as well for the leather. You guys have sown this flax field? Okay, good. That's good, but that's sown. Uh, I'm going to have to harvest this soon as well, right? Yeah. Uh, and we also need to fresh the wheat as well. Yeah, so we can start making bread. That's going to be kind of important. Cool, we have a couple days until the harv like the proper harvest. We hit August. Um, sorry, we hit autumn. Uh, and then they'll go and harvest the other field, which is good because then it gives them some time to start freshing the uh, the grain. So we're going to want to get the windmill up and running. Uh, so I'll probably go down to three there just so we can get the windmill going right away. That's going to allow us to immediately start yeah, making bread because, again, our food is it's not looking good. There's not really much we can do about it, though. The game is telling me that we are just using too much uh, when it comes to fueling. Um, and I, I really only have what the, I only have the bloomery and the clay furnace going, but I guess, I guess we don't need that right now. So I guess we will go down on that. I don't think anything else is using it, but yeah, I, I guess we'll just take a family off of clay furnacing to help out with the refueling because it's seemingly we are yeah going through too much. I kind of feel like I need my bloomery still going for the weapons because that's what we're selling. We're selling spears right now. Uh, I, I know we're running out of food as well. Don't worry, we're soon going to be okay. We have we're now making flour, okay? So we need someone on the commercial oven uh, right away to start making bread. And it still leaves us with two families to help build the rest of these houses. I mean, the thing is as well, we are we are like we are building more houses. We are growing quickly. So as we grow, our, our fuel consumption and other things are going to be, you know, required to to work up as well. So that is something to keep in mind that uh, you know, may oh, we already have Okay, let's go up to let's go up to two on two on that then. And nice, perfect. They are harvesting the heck out of this field. Cool. Uh, that's really good. So that's going to be our grain. We're going to have 86 plus, I don't know, like another 60. So that's gonna, that's, that should be pretty decent, I think. I think that's going to like survive us for, for some time uh, and keep us keep us going. Uh, we're also going to be getting more families as well. Um, so maybe some more people on bread would be great. But yeah, I think I think that's looking very good. And immediately over here, we are going to go for more vegetables. Uh, again, right away. Start getting that passive food income going. I'll probably do it on two of them. And that gives us enough for an ox, right? Because oxes are 20. Uh, where's our hitching post? Yeah, oxes are 20, so we're gonna do we can do two vegetable plots and then another ox, and then that allows us again to start getting on that 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 food hype. Which realistically, I might just do before building the church, you know? Like let's get this farmhouse built. Uh, and then we might be able to at least get one of these fields done uh very quickly. I also do want to try and harvest as many of these berries as possible. Uh it'd be silly not to whilst we still can. So yeah, let's set up a little bit of a a, a, a berry hut right here. Um, again, just try and get this, uh, try and get this set up in time. I, I, I think what we focus on is we definitely focus on the barley because we can export that back home and import some better stuff with a pack place. So let's try and get this done. Um, yeah, and I, I'm going to stick a family on it. I know it's crazy and I know we've done this a billion times, but I think it's going to be worth it. So let's stick a family on there. It's a big field as well. I could have gone for a much smaller field. But if we can get this done, like, we only have to sow, and then we can kind of finish... Sorry, we can... Yeah, all we have to do is um, plow it, and then we could probably get it done. It's going to take so long, though, and it's already October, right? Yeah, it's already October, so we have two months to plow that with one family. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We have... Yeah, we're getting our planks up as well. Meat and bread are looking fine. Cool. Yeah, I think this region is fine. We just obviously need some more houses for sure. I think I'm going to have to stop the bloomery from working. Like, we can't set up the fuel. I mean, what we could do is we could... I mean, there's no point having someone on there if we're still waiting for the fuel reserves as well. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess what we're going to do is I'm going to focus on building another woodcutting lodge. I have three people on it now. I only had one. I thought the tannery was it, so I had too many people. The tannery, my mistake. But yeah, we'll do something like that. Uh, I'll build another one as well because we are getting bigger and we are going to need more fuel. So uh, that should be fine. Winter is fast approaching. But if I get the second one up and running, we can stick basically everybody from the farms to work on that. I mean, it's so much nicer having two... Uh, farmyards to, to to help plow the fields. I've got someone plowing here. I've got someone plowing here and someone plowing there. I'm hoping we're going to get all of this done. Like, these fields are maybe a bit too big, but it'll be really nice to get some of these done and sown. I mean, to be fair, I might stick another couple families on this just to make sure it happens a bit quicker. Uh, let's do something like that. Is there anything else? We've got two people hunting. Uh, no one on the clay. Is there any other, any like people I could take off? I don't think we need three people in the granary, so let's take another family off of that. And again, just stick them um, on, the, on that so, so they can get this done a little bit faster. Uh, we have one other thing. We can change that. Dyes can probably go off now as well. So boom, there you go. We'll have we'll have enough people there, I think, to get this done in the next month. Yeah, before November, before winter hits. With the, the things being plowed, that'll stick a bunch more families on plowing the other field. And then it's just sowing them and getting them done. This field is going to probably be a priority for me, though, for now, just to get that done. And how's it looking on me over in the other village as well? Um, are we... I mean, it's, it's such slow work, isn't it? It's so slow to get this done in time. Uh, with one family. It's really not worth it, but hey, we're gonna do it, okay? I, I promise you we're gonna do it. At least we're also waiting, waiting for more planks, right? We're still waiting for the planks to come in, so I kind of don't mind that. Nice. Another wood cutting lodge as well is now done. Um, again, I'm gonna need some more people off that, so let's just take one off of that. Again, three people making fuel. Uh, four people, four families now making fuel. Should be pretty decent. And yeah, you can see we have basically 200 flour now so we will be able we'll have enough bread i can sit more people on it as soon as the farms are done uh but we're gonna be yeah, in a very good situation and yeah, as you can see we have a lot of families working the fields now making sure that they are all sown and um, they're doing a pretty quick job of it yeah nice uh how, so please say it's gonna be a bit more than three three barrels uh because that's not gonna be good if there's only three our food is oh my god our food is like on the edge but we should be making bread now um do i need to i think i need to take another family on bread um they should get be getting plenty in um, and then Weaver. Yeah, we need someone on the Weaver for clothes. The malt house is, I guess, used for beer. Uh, Granary kind of need people when selling the bread. Let's maybe take someone off of logging for now, as we already have plenty, just to stick three people on, on, on thing. Because, yeah, we are apparently running out of fuel this month, and we're also running out of food. Uh, man, not having good, like, fertile fields is brutal, but it's also awesome as well to see the flax starting to grow now. We're just going to get a decent amount of flax. Oh, we're also going to need stone as well. Okay, so let's go over and get a stone cutting lodge up. This is, like, a really good stone province, so it's actually not the worst thing in the world to have that. Uh, we can maybe even start exporting that back to the other region. That's, like, a good resource that we could export back. But we are going to, yeah, we are going to need to grab that. One more house as well. We do get the upgrade, which is going to be good because then we can actually assign heavy plow, like... I think heavy plow is going to be important for this village just because they don't have the resources. And then they can probably, in spring, plow the fields and get them sown just with one family. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's continue on because you never know. I mean, do we just wait? Because we uh, Let's just let them do their thing. And then it'll be a bit quicker on the, on the station there as well. Actually, no. I'm going to take them on the, uh, the berries. We're going to try and just harvest the berries for as quickly as possible now. We'll have a little bit of time to do that. But, yeah, that, that field isn't going to be done. But as soon as we upgrade them to the next tier, we're then going to be able to get the heavy plow on the go. Uh, and then that will save us and that allows us to do that. How are we looking? Are we going to get all these done sewed? Um, so that one's in the midst of it. And so is that one. So they should be pretty well off. We have, yeah, we're like halfway through November right now. Let's go, boys. I believe in you. As long as we got the, uh, as long as we got this, this done, that's all that matters. I mean, a few of our places are now ready to level up, right? Yeah, we have enough. So, again, it's gonna tank our approval, but we're at 42 families at the moment, anyway. So let's do it. So let's find somewhere that isn't gonna take up families. We kind of need that, and we're out already. We don't have enough regional wealth. Okay, so it's regional wealth stopping us. But yeah, nice. We just need two more. And then, I guess next episode, uh, depending on what you guys say, whether it's a fertilization or it's the trade logistics, you guys can let me know. And I'll be sure to take that on. Our fuel is now going back up. You can see we're now starting to get vegetables in from our, our gardens, which will hopefully sustain us. Bread's flocking in. Uh, and the thing is as well, the really important thing to understand is as you start getting a whole wide variety of food, people stop taking all the other food types. So it allows that stockpile to grow. So the more people eating all four different types of food is going to mean that there's going to be more of them four type of food across the board because they're not just focusing on one or two. So yeah, getting all these different varieties is going to really help out. And the bread is going to be flowing for some time. Like we have, yeah, a lot of flour, a lot of grain. We could also start exporting some lambs as well. Like we do have like an excess because of the perk we picked. So yeah, let's export some lambs, get some money there. Uh, why not? Oh, it's probably my blacksmith using the fuel, right? 
Um, I guess he probably would need fuel, right, to, to do it. I mean, it says only planks and stuff, but I assume he does also need fuel to, to, to harness this. I would, I would hazard a guess. So let's pause that as well, because, yeah, I don't really know what's, what's being absorbed by that. Oh, nice, we can upgrade a few more houses. So we'll go one, uh, and then just one more. A little bit more regional wealth, and then we'll be at the next tier as well. Perfect. Uh, we could also be keep on growing, but I'm kind of a little bit scared. I want to kind of get through the winter a bit. And Jackie Land here is upgraded. We're going to go heavy plow here, uh, and then... Uh, then we'll decide, you know, maybe we do go apple orchards or we go irrigation. Maybe we go like beekeeping here, like beekeeping and wax could be good again to start exporting that back home with the, the other stuff. But yeah, we'll grab that. I will make sure we get the heavy plow upgrade ready for the spring. We're going to get wood cutting. So yeah, our next focus here is to get the church up and running uh, and then maybe a few more houses. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We've got five houses now uh, and then we just need people basically to start working these fields. Because I think with a heavy plow, we might be able to get both of these uh, done, whether it's wheat, whether it's grain. I think that'll be fine. And yeah, that's really honestly perfect. So we have, yeah, now got all of these fields done. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be the best yield in the world, of course, because our fertility is so bad, but I think it's going to be, yeah, good enough. So let's now rearrange all these families now. Uh, we don't need this many on here. We have a little bit more freshing to do there and same there. So we'll leave one person there, but now we have nine families to reassign. So let's go hard on there. Um, I guess building wise, we're going to, yeah, want to upgrade to tier two, but we don't have enough happiness there. But yeah, these can go up to tier two. No, they can't. They just, oh, they just have the house upgrade. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so let's maybe stick another one on the storehouse. Uh, we'll stick, uh, we've got two on the granary already, uh, to be honest. Go a few more traders just to kind of help out. We have like the people right now. Uh, we need fuel still. Yeah, we still need fuel. Our food is not looking good. Um, so we have three people on the ovens. Uh, dyes we don't want. The weaver, I guess we could stick another family on there. And then just need four for... Yeah, four for production. I guess we need to stick some people back on the woodland, uh, the wood as well. Uh, yeah. And I guess that's what we're going to leave. Just two families to help build. You can see our house is looking pretty nice now as well. Coming along nicely. I mean, as soon as these guys have the, the beer supply, we'll upgrade them as well. And um, we could go up to more families. I don't think we're going to, though. I think we're going to stay at 43 families. We can actually have one more family. Uh, yeah, I think we'll stay at like 44, 45 families for the winter. Just again, our food isn't great, but... I think it will be enough. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I built a granary here rather than a, a, a berry pit. Oh my lord. Is there any point building a berry pit now? Probably not. We're just going to have to survive on wild animals, I think. Oh my god. I mean, there's only five people here. It should be fine. That's so stupid of me. Uh, what, how, did I, how did I miss that? Uh, we are going to need someone on the stone cutter's camp, though. Um, but that's fine, as we don't need that quite yet. So let's get someone on the stone cutter's camp. And it's fine we don't have any, everybody working. Um, as winter has now come. Winter has come for us. And we have to be very cautious of that. I know that's fine. Uh, we don't need to finish up that building quite yet. And hopefully the crops will survive. And we'll be in a good situation. As always, uh, looking to upgrade uh, and continue to do it. Or a new bandit camp as well. How far away? Yeah, it's really nice. We'll go clear that out. I think next year, next episode, we'll do this. And I'll make sure I just send my retinue. And we'll see if a retinue can take it. But then what do I take? I probably take regional wealth, right? Just to help out a bit more. It's looking at always like a 200 regional wealth. That's going to be a bit of a boom to us. Because soon, hopefully, we won't have so much of a trouble for flax. Like, I could, I could probably stop importing flax now. We have 19 linen. So, yeah, let's maybe stop importing flax for, for now. Yeah, let's go down. We don't need any more flax, I don't think. Um, so, we'll just no trade that for now. Uh, I think barley is still important because that's the only way we're going to get to the next tier. Uh, we have one brewery here as well, right? Oh, no, oh, that's what they need. Okay. And yeah, this is, I mean, to be fair, our, our food supplies in these tier 3s are still pretty good. Like, they are still really good, actually. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it. A pretty good year so far. We, we harvested a, a pretty nice yield, uh, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of flour still. We are pumping bread. Like, it's still going to be a harsh winter. It still is going to be a harsh winter. But I think we're going to come out on top uh, of it. And then, yeah, then it's just booming. Like, we've already boomed, like, an extra 10 families. And we can continue to do so. Uh, we can continue to do, like, the cloves are, are, are very, we're very ahead of cloves with the cloaks and everything. We have plenty of iron ore. We have loads of clay, so we can start selling roof tiles if we wanted to. I think that's going to be our big money maker and something we might save up for. Uh, yeah, depending, depending on what you guys pick. If we pick the trade logistics, we can then go straight into clay tiles and just selling them. And that'll make us, like, infinite money. Um, but yeah, also, if we get fertilization, it'll make things a little bit more difficult, I guess. Um, and we'll have to save for it, but still, I think still worth it. Yeah, still something that we can easily 
uh, get around it and still do. But yeah, as always, if you guys are enjoying the stream, uh, sorry, the videos, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does help out and goes a long, long way. Let me know what you guys thought of the night cycle and what perk we should take next in Jackie Land. And obviously, finally, also giving me a, a name for our, our bottom southern settlement uh, down there. It'll be interesting to see what you guys have to come up with and what you guys suggest. And I'll see you guys in the next one.